So since then, uh, anytime I get introduced to a film that I'm wondering about, I try to watch the film and then decide later how to respond to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you live in a college dorm, they have very, very strict rules of what you're allowed to bring because they're trying to keep it as safe as possible. So of course you're not allowed to have any pets unless you have a fish that fits in a very small bowl. You might be able to pull off a turtle if you really don't want it to walk around. You can't have a hot plate because the entire building would explode. But you were allowed to have a very certain size mini fridge, and you were allowed to have a microwave. You weren't allowed to have a toaster, blender, anything that they assume after years of testing would ignite on fire and kill us all. But they do assume that we have a certain level of education on how to use the appliances once we got there. And I think probably everyone on my floor had a microwave. It was allowed. There'd be two people in a room, one microwave per each. Not a big deal, a lot of ramen was going on. Uh, but I don't think a lot of students quite understood exactly what you could put in a microwave. And I distinctly remember one day, one of the kids, I did not witness this, but through the fire alarm I understood what happened, put a piece of bread in the microwave by itself. And just left it and forgot about it for several minutes. And apparently bread can lose all of the moisture in it and absolutely just ignite on fire. So he just left it and came back to a microwave and completely engulfed in flames because he put one piece of bread in. So of course all the fire alarms went off and we all had to leave and we thought it was this big crisis until we all realized that Stephen had just put a piece of bread in the toaster and didn't quite understand how it worked. <laughs> so I'm a countertop in a dorm room with a half-eaten bowl of ramen that's been there three days. <laughs> I'm a knife that was washed in September. <laughs> <laughs> I'm some puke from the last egg party. I'm the little turtle that really shouldn't have been in the room escaping. I'm a mini fridge sitting in the corner, the door open. Dude, that party last night was unreal! The party was good. You, you were better. I was better? Oh yeah, you... Yes! I got six girls' phone numbers last night. Well, let me tell you, you were rocking the dance and you were rocking the music. And you drank so... Room inspection! Oh, shit. Monday, shit, room shit, inspection! We got this. Be cool. We're all right. All right. Hi! Hi, I'm so glad to see you. She's looking wonderful. We're happy you're here. All right, so... What happened here? A whole 
semester of really hard studying. We studied all of our books. Uh -huh. so mm -hmm. Let's see, six holes in the wall that weren't there before. Twelve Don't empty beer cans. Yeah. Beer pong table haphazardly pulled it up. I don't, okay. I'm not even gonna comment on that. I had food poisoning. That was food poisoning. <laughs> Listen, you guys know that I have to report all this, right? Sure, none of this is really that wrong. It's all wrong. All of it is wrong. Listen, Sugar, I think we can work this out, can't we? Okay, now you're touching your RA. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work on her, does it? No, it doesn't work on me. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. We go through 16 weeks of training. I see that, yeah. I see that, that badge on your shirt. Big RA. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. I'm proud of it. Right. Cut to RA training. All right, RAs. Here's your rules. <laughs> You're staring at me very strange right now. It's, it's off putting. That's what you don't do when you enter a room. You do not stare at people like that. Look here, maggots, this is how it's going to be. You're going to be an RA at your school. You're going to have freshmen. They're going to drink. They're going to misbehave because they've never been away from home. And God damn it, their parents didn't treat them right. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Let them get away with nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah. You're on them like white on rice. You get it? Have you been talking to my mom? Actually, you did get a call from your mom. I didn't, I didn't want to be here. She's... <laughs> Georgie, you are supposed to sit through RA training. You're not coming home this weekend. Mom. No, you're not. <laughs> Georgie? He said you weren't treating me right. And I think he's right. I think he's right. Georgie, we've talked about this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the best RA that ever, ever, whatever RAs do here. <laughs> they, they, they monitor rooms. Yeah, room monitoring. You don't even know what you're supposed to be doing and you're here? I'm supposed to be training. here. That's all I really know. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I brought skittles. <laughs> Yeah? I'm just going to stick it in the toaster. Yeah. Warm it up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like a warm knife. It goes through the potter so much easier. Right? Yeah. I don't know. It's like people think it's weird to put silverware in the toaster. I don't get it. I mean, it's fine, right? Mm -hmm. Look at us. We're okay. Yeah, we're perfectly normal guys. Yeah. I, it's getting kind of red. I'm going to pull the cord. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hey, guys, we're going to need a new fire extinguisher. I, I had to test it. It's empty. Oh. <laughs> What'd you use it for? I, I I just I sprayed it in my room. Awesome! It's a little foamy in there. So just oh. put, put that on the list. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fire extinguisher. Uh, put it right under window. Right. <laughs> window. <laughs> <laughs> Remember nice. that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Woo. All right. I should probably put these out. Now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the oven mitts are for. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what they're like. for, man. Eating. Sharp as a bowling ball we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. I need some ice cubes to put in my mouth. Ah, mm -hmm. epic, dude. Mini fridge, the approved size. Notice? <laughs> yeah. Don't want to anger those RAs. No way. Mm -mm. All right, they're on the counter, man. You slurp right. them right down with them as you go here. All right, all right, all right. cool. Oh man, there's some good chicken. I was just sitting there the whole time, just waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, you're gonna have to write down door on the list. Oh, okay. Door. I, I lost the door. Door. <laughs> I don't know how we're ever gonna remove all these refrigerators. They're too big to be in. <laughs> in dorm rooms, and they and they, they are, let's face it, they're just not very attractive. Oh. <laughs> me. Oh, I know. Have you loved me? A talking refrigerator. This will go. These will be perfect in dorm rooms. 
and will be perfect in dorm rooms. Regardless of their size and appearance. All freshman boys get these refrigerators. I don't want to live with them. <laughs> well, who, do you want to live with someone else? Like you. Girl, with us? You wanna Just ignore with that part. I want to we'll stay with you. Don't get rid of me. It's like a doctor refrigerator. She wants to stay with us. Keep me. <laughs> kill you? Keep me. Don't kill me. Oh. <laughs> You know what? Please don't kill me. She she fit in right with our Disney figurines. Yes, she would, and you I know, fit in lots of spaces. I'm little. She's kind of insistent. She go really well with that refrigerator we have that plays music. Let's do it. Yeah, let's bring her home. Big fridge is scary. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And then we've got that washing machine that lights up all those beautiful colors. Yeah, we'll put it right next to that washing machine that has a beautiful There's color. There's something oddly threatening about her. <laughs> She's like sweet, but... Keep me. May old acquaintance be forgotten. I never got the words to this, you know what I mean? See how far I am. It's kind of like our relationship. I mean, it's New Year's Eve, we're on the cusp of a new beginning, and you don't seem to know it. Dude, look, I spent like 286 on the sparkle guitar juice. I know you're generous. Do you know where the towels are? The towels? Towels, yeah. He knows where everything is in here. Thank you. <laughs> you're generous, and I appreciate that of you. But it, it's time for us to move. I'm just looking for the, the washcloths. Oh, man. Whew. I thought I was going to get awkward here for a moment. I mean, we've just been working as greeters together for about six weeks. And, uh, <laughs> well, you, you... I know I'm quite the, quite the catch. I just didn't realize that you were interested. Proposal on aisle two. You are interested. Proposal on aisle two. <laughs> Proposal on aisle two. What aisle are we on? Two. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. So I had to decide it all wrong. You're. Yes! Yes, I didn't no, ask no, you ask, anything. Ask the question. <laughs> yes! Yeah. And? Yeah. Yes. Ask the question on aisle two. Ask the question on aisle two. Will you help me off my parents? <laughs> I didn't understand that in aisle two. What? Look, I can't ask you again. This is dangerous territory we're in. I know. It's like we're being watched. I trusted you with my cats. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, I mean, it's like chicken. I mean, it was close. We're all watching aisle two. Either propose or don't. Stop. 
stop licking the sidewalk. <laughs> but the dog does it. The dog can do that because it has a different digestive system. Oh. <laughs> you have a different digestive system. <laughs> yes. <coughs> I kind of want to lick the floor now. It's just going to make you more sick. And then I'm going to have to take you to the doctor again. And then I'm going to have to explain to your mother why I'm taking you to the doctor again. And I'm going to say it's because... Don't little... tell mom I'm sick. Don't tell mom I'm sick. Okay. But you have to promise to stop licking the floor. I promise. Don't tell mom I'm sick. Okay. Steal. She makes me take the red stuff. <laughs> well, it makes you feel better. No, it doesn't. A little bit. <laughs> Wait, so let me get this straight. You have a problem taking your medicine, but you have no problem licking the floor. That's gross. But the floor isn't. The dog literally it. just licked me. There's spit on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm taking both of you to the doctor. No! I'll find out. You want to try to find stuff? It's gross. I've had medicine before. I know what it tastes like. It's not that bad. Okay? Let's, let's see them at their doctor's appointment. Psychiatrist's office <laughs> at a local, local junior college. I'm thick. <laughs> and how does that make you feel? Thick. <laughs> Doctor, she keeps looking at the floor. She wants to be like a dog. Something's clearly not right. You see? She's gonna lick me again. I don't like it when she licks me. It's quite all right if the dog wants to lick you, or if you want to lick the dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I'll get my own chair. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, I'm a confident woman. I didn't think I had to get the chair for you every time. No, you do. I thought you were one of those independent women. I am, you still have to get my chair. <laughs> well, Alright, put it back. Get your chair. Okay. Start over, put yours back too. Come on. And you should get mine first. <laughs> okay, you don't have to mock me. Thank you. Thank you very much. So they're in a television station and they're getting ready to host a <laughs> call on relationships. Yeah, we're the experts. Okay, listen, before this starts, figure we gotta figure us out a little bit. I thought we had ourselves figured out. I thought that I was the man, you were the woman, you do the cooking, the cleaning, and I, I go to work every day at the local Walmart. <laughs> I don't like anything you just said. All of it was offensive. Marissa. Even, even the accent a little bit was offensive. <laughs> yeah. And like when you blinked your eyes a little bit was offensive. Like right there, right there, it's fluttering. What is that fluttering? No, I can't help the way I talk. Now, everything I do is everything I do is offensive to you. Everything. Yes. But I thought that's what I was on thing. I thought that's what kept us going. But you've been repeating a lot lately. I miss the creative offensiveness. You know? Right. Like the surprise offense that I didn't know was coming around the corner. It was like offense to the face, oh, you know? Yeah, like when I was like, I hate your mother and I want to kill your family. Okay, that one was a little scary. It was a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> <a little, laughs> it was like a box that we have to stay in, you know? Why don't we take the first call? Okay, you guys are on in two minutes. Okay, yeah. that was offensive. See, that surprised me. I didn't expect him to come out and say that. <laughs> Marissa, all right. I mean, I'll, we'll, we'll try not to offend you so much. You seem always offended by everything. I mean, not everything, just most things that you say with your accent. <coughs> okay, that's offensive. Why are you smoking backwards? Who does that? I do that. No one smokes like this. No one. That's, that's better. See? All right. All right. Why don't we, take the, why don't we start the calls? Ring, ring. <laughs> you ring. on? You on with Johnny and Marissa? What's your problem? 
Hey, Johnny and Marissa, a long time listener, first time caller. Um, so, I, I really want to be offensive with my girlfriend, but I just can't do it. I'm just like, I keep trying to like kick her, and then I get a coat and I put it on her, and it's just not. I, I, mean, I don't know what to do, okay? Alejandra, who are you talking to? Shut, I love you. 